When we first look at this problem, it looks like there's not much of a solution. First of all, it doesn't have a width, it doesn't have a bit depth, and it has most of the rest of the information, but there's some things that we need to convert. So first of all, let's look at the information that we do have. We know that it goes for three minutes, and in our formula, we know that we have to convert that three minutes to a number of seconds. So that is three lots of 60, which is 180 seconds. Easy. We know that the frame rate here is 24 frames per second when we just leave that as is, so 24 is important. The next thing we need to do is we need to figure out what the bit depth is and what the resolution is. So in this case here it says that the, we are dealing with real colour. Now real, real colour is a terminology used and what it means is that there's 16,777,216 colours which for us means that the colour is real enough to not be able to tell the difference. Now, I know that real colour is actually 24 bits. And I know that this because um, 2 to the power of 24 is this massive number here. Now, you're unlikely to get a question like that, but you do need to know that real colour is 24-bit colour. Now, you might also get a question that asks something along the lines of um, two to a bit depth of eight. So we know that that is 256 colours. Or you might get a question that says that you've got 256 colours, so you then know, need to know what this is. Now, the easiest way for me to do this is to go two to the power of zero equals 1. So we never have a colour that has a 0 bit depth because that's not possible and we don't have a 1 colour image. 2 to the power of 1 is 2, so that's pure black and white. 2 to the power of 2 is 4, so we're starting to get some greys in there. 2 to the power of 3 is 8, more colours. 2 to the power of 4 is double 8 is 16. Now, one of the things, because my maths isn't so good, I'll notice is that as this number goes up one, these double in size. So, double one is two, double two is four, double four is eight, double eight is 16, double 16 is, the next one is 32, next one is 64, next one is 128, until we get to two to the power of eight equals 256. Now, the reason that I do this is because I suck at maths. So, I can count 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4, etc. down the line. So, going back to our question here, we now know that real colour means that the bit depth is 200, oh, sorry, 24. Um, we have 24 frames per second and we've got 180 minutes. So we've got three pieces of information here. And if we take the height here as the fourth piece of information, we've also got the height, which is 480. But how do we find the width? Well, this is something that comes up in a few questions in HSC to do with ratios. Now, the important thing is that you need to remember is that you probably won't get a question this complex, but it helps to draw out some of the other types of questions that you might get. So let's look. If we've got a 16 to 9 ratio and we know that this, the, wide, um, the, the resolution has a side height of 480, we know that this one here is the height because we know that when we look at a video screen that the height is less than the width. In this case, 9 is less than 16, so we know that 9 is the height. So if we say 480 to x is the same as 16 to 9. So what we can do is we can go 16 to 9 is equal to x is to 480. 480, let's just check. Yep, 480. Okay. So this is the same as saying because ratios work like a fraction. If I replace this thing here with a line, I can say 16 over 9 is the same as x over 480. Now, this is where it starts to get a little bit more understandable. I need to find out what this value is here. Now, the way that I do that is I have to move this 480 over the other side here. Now, if I take 480 over to this side, because I'm dividing here, I need to multiply here. 
So I can go 480 times 16 over 9 is X, and that is the width of my video. So let's work that out on my calculator. So because I've brought a calculator into the exam with me, I know that my width is 480 times 16 over 9, which is 854. It's actually 853.3 repeater. But, well, actually, probably that should be 853 then, we'll say. So we now have the width, we have the bit depth, we have the length of the video, and we have the height. So that's all of the information that we need in order to do our formula. Now, our formula to calculate the video is the height times the width times the bit depth times the frames per second times the time. So basically we're just taking all of the information that we have and multiplying it together. The reason that we do this, if you think of a video as a picture, and really it's not one picture, it's multiple pictures. And those pictures are frames. So the number of frames per second is important. Okay. The time is important because then we know how many frames are in the video. So if I say that the time is 180 and the frames per second is 24 frames per second, then we know that the amount of frames that is in the video is 24 times 180. Okay. We also need to know which, um, how big our, each frame is in terms of the bits that it takes. So that's where this proportion of the formula comes in. It's the height times the width, which gives us the number of pixels in the image, and the bit depth basically gives us the amount of bits that each pixel takes to represent in memory. So let's look back at our original problem again. We know that um, the height is 480, The width was, just had to go back and check that, that's 853, so that's the resolution of one. We know that the real colour means that there's a bit depth of 24 times 24 frames per second times 180. And that's the important part that normally students miss is multiplying it by the 180, which is the number of seconds not the number of minutes because our frames are in frames per second, not frames per minute. Now, when I put that into my calculator, which I've remembered to bring to my exam, I get this massively huge number. And you might be saying that's odd because whenever I create a video that's three minutes long, it doesn't make this massive big number. But you need to remember that that is the number of bits that is in the video, not the number of bytes or kilobytes or megabytes, okay? So the next step then is to get that down into a version that's a little bit more understandable for people. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it by this massively big number and I'm going to divide it by 8. The reason that I'm going to divide it by 8 is because for every byte there is 8 bits. So this is the number of bits that there are in the video, and I'm going to divide it by 8 to get the number of bytes. So my 8 deals with bytes. Then I'm also going to divide it by 1024. And what this will give me is the number of kilobytes, which gives it a little bit of a more understandable range. So I'm going to multiply that because I'm going to divide by 1 and divide by the other, so I can just multiply that out. And again, I'm going to go back to my cat. So once I've done that on my calculator, the number that I get is 5184,000. Okay, so that is in kilobytes. Now you might still be saying that's still a big number, but I suppose what you have to understand is that's uncompressed video. So that's just the number of bits that it takes to represent the video without codecs and things like that. And we'll learn more about codecs in the next lesson.